It's a beautiful state, this Utah. One of the most interesting and strange things you can find at this state is the Great Salt Lake. And one of the coolest things to find on the Great Salt Lake is this, the Spiral Jetty. Let's check it out. they call it the Great Salt Lake because it's incredibly dense with salt. So much so that if you're walking around in it, uh, barefoot or otherwise, that salt gets all over your skin and starts to itch and kind of sting pretty quickly. My kids have learned that the hard way. But I learned that a long, long time ago when I came out here with my parents and uh, siblings many, many years ago. Just the high um, saline content, the high salt content does that very quickly, dries out your skin and as it sort of crystallizes on your skin, it becomes itchy. It's kind of like going to the beach, but magnified by, I don't know, five or 10. So uh, that's, that's one thing to be aware of. All that, uh, all that salt creates really cool formations. You can find rocks, uh, even little weeds that have uh, natural salt formations surrounding them and covering them that are just beautiful. Uh, one of the coolest things about salt because of its chemical structure, it forms in perfect cube shapes. And so as you look around out here for uh, chunks of salt and, and bits of salt and uh, dried um, salt crystals on rocks and, and on weeds and whatever, you'll find these little cube shapes. It's so cool. It, it seems like, uh, it almost seems manufactured, but it's all just natural. They say you can't sink in it because of the high salt content. First time I've been to the Great Salt Lake in a lot of years. First time I've ever been to the Spiral Jetty. Very cool to see if you live in Utah, you gotta come see the Spiral Jetty sometime. Uh, now, this is the end of June, 2017. Now's a pretty good time to see it because the water level is such that you can easily walk out to it, but you can still see a little bit of water and get into a little bit of water. Uh, the way things are sort of draining off and running off in Utah right now, there's just a lot of water running into the Great Salt Lake. So I expect that water uh, levels will be fairly, well, a little bit higher fairly soon. Don't know if that means that the jetty will get covered up, but uh, it's possible. So come see it before it does, if it happens. I'm Lee Boy Scout. Thanks for watching.